It is a beautiful and uh, it's chilly now. Slightly explosive day out here at the river house. Blast day. So we're going to blow up a bunch of stuff. Wife did pick up some new drill bits. Um, let you see the difference between the two. One of the issues in the quality on these Harbor Freight ones, which no doubt I'm abusing the absolute crap out of, is you notice that the carbide overhangs a different amount on each side. So this is the little one. This is three quarters. Compared to the three quarters that has drilled so many feet a hole. So that's where I overheated it. Believe it or not, this thing still actually cuts. It just no longer cuts a three quarter hole. But, uh, yeah, that's on me, not on them. Anyways, that that's 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 one of the real problems with them is it it's going to break these ends off. But I know more about it, and I've developed some techniques now. And with luck, today it's just all about going kaboom, and my holes are not too far apart, and it will propagate between them, and we'll just pick it out with the excavator. Going badly. I got my holes too far apart and I'm going to leave ridges that I'll have to blast a second time. Either way, today's going to be a good day. Scott stopped by to see how things were going and watch a few of the blasts. Getting some really inconsistent results here. So I started blowing the holes out and they're full of water despite covering them up. I don't know if that means that my covering wasn't good enough, which is totally possible, or that I got water seeping in through some underground crack layer is equally totally possible so I'm gonna bring the big air tank up and I'll try to vent them out using the big tank a lot more air there and maybe I'll put some stone dust down inside to help me uh, soak up any water that might be in there it's just a thought waterline in an attempt to separate the powder from from 
the dam, I guess. Well, that last one sounded more energetic, but I don't know that it accomplished anything. Now we're into the holes that were drilled as the drill bits failed. I don't know, they might have to be abandoned and new holes drilled.
Oh, I don't know how well it worked out here. Depends on whether or not I'll be get a, a tooth in and lift it or not. But we have made quite the mess. Quite the mess. I'll have to I'll have to just bring the equipment up and start picking at it. You can I mean Shay did a lot of this just with the, the pickaxe, so who knows what the excavator can accomplish. Well, we definitely had some success. You know, removed 18 inches of stone right there, nice big pieces, but not this. I'm being too hard on the machine, so I'm gonna I'm gonna call this. Um, I guess larger charges, maybe. Angled holes come in this way. No matter what, I just I just didn't break this up enough. But still, you gotta figure I really only had yesterday and it wasn't complete because I got here late and I had to entertain Shay a little bit of time on Friday but maybe if I come out here in the afternoons and the evenings and uh, 
drill and prepare holes, I possibly could blast again next Friday. I'm doing the Spartan race with a good friend of mine again this year. We are sixth or seventh year doing that, so that'll take one of the days next weekend. Pretty soon I'm going to have to give up and do uh, stuff with the army truck. I've got a, a very narrow window, maybe three weekends in May. That's what I've got to work on it and then I'll have to do something else. You know, all told today, I only used about $15 worth of explosives. Hell, I'll use almost that much in fuel, so maybe bigger charges. I could buy different bits and go in deeper holes, but... Maybe I'll come in here and... Pull this stuff back and go in sideways and try to lift it up. That might work. I got noticed that my uh, huh. leaking something. Uh, I got noticed that my mortar is in, so, you know, I can start the wall, and I can start the wall with these boulders that I've broken out here in the last few days. My guess is they're not the one that people will want anyways. I don't know how that's going to work out or anything quite yet, but I, I'd, hate to, I'd hate to set in concrete a bunch of stuff that's going to be super useful. So I can sort this stuff and... drag that uh, rock skid up here and I'll, I'll stack some of these massive rocks on it the best I can and we'll get them down the hill. That's when, that's when people will see why I've reinvented the wheel. Um, what I'm going to move is not small. You know, there might be 15, 20,000 pounds on it. If it turns out to be too unwieldy, then I'll, uh, I don't know what I'll do. Take him and throw him over the edge, maybe? And we'll come up with something. Need to clean those tracks off again. Oh well, I'm hungry. Um, I think it's probably probably best that I just go home. All I'm going to do is pick at this until I break the machine, so I can't afford that. Blasting's cheap. It just takes my time. Fixing this would be expensive, and it also take my time. So, from all of us here at the Riverhouse to all of you, thanks for watching.